right off the bat. Ground attack aircraft come in a lot of different flavors. The American A-36 Apache that doesn't carry any bombs can actually take on many fighters. The Soviet Eel-2 or the American Skyrider are considered to be classic single-seat attack aircraft. There are also twin-engined A-20s and PBJs, while the Italian Piaggio P-108, which is basically a modified heavy bomber, is powered by four engines. What connects all these planes is that all of them are designed to destroy small mobile targets of both terrestrial and waterborne variety. Another fun fact is that during World War II, the only type of aircraft more likely to be destroyed was the unfortunate torpedo bomber. That's hardly surprising considering that attackers had to fight under such conditions as when they were being fired at from both above and below. What about War Thunder though? What kinds of threats do attackers have to deal with in our game? And why you, yes, we mean you, keep on losing while flying an attack aircraft? Mistake number one. You're the first to engage. You have superior and sometimes almost unbelievable firepower, but your aircraft is heavier and bulkier than a stock fighter. No one can survive your fury in a head-on engagement, but when it comes to fighting in a vertical attitude, you'll simply lose your speed very quickly and will turn into a sitting duck. Let the Allied fighter aircraft initiate the engagement and only then use this chance to deliver all of your explosive presence to everyone on the ground. If you're lucky, you can also sometimes down an enemy fighter too, busy playing mind games with your teammates. Mistake number two. You think that preserving altitude is not worth the effort. It's no coincidence that ground attack aircraft spawn in the air, saving them from the misery of clinging to the ground at the start of the match. To put it simply, in most cases, your rate of climb is nothing to be proud of, especially when compared to one of your fighter brethren. Don't rush to the ground, stay in the sky. There's always time to go into a dive, hit a few targets on the ground, and then go for a reload. Strike only after you have properly taken stock of the situation. Mistake number three. You are alone. All the armor in the world can't save you if there are no allies around. Don't have any War Thunder buddies? It's time to get them then. Nothing beats a well-coordinated squad. Pilots cover each other's backs. If past experience is any guide with just two planes, a ground attack aircraft and a fighter, you can already turn the tides of a battle. A team of two fighters and two ground attackers is simply on a different level. It's a dream. Mistake number four. You don't dance. As fast as your aircraft is, it won't outfly a fighter. Imagine that you've already locked onto a target. It's getting closer. Closer. At this moment, you make a perfect target for an enemy at your six, with a predictable speed and trajectory, that is. Move. Dance a little bit. Wiggle your ailerons. Rolling and jinking really helps. Do whatever you can to prevent the enemy from landing a good shot. And you can certainly survive a few random hits. Mistake number five. You forget about the brakes. 
You're the fury of the gods, the thunderer, the death from above. You silence enemy SPAAGs, blow enemy convoys into smithereens, engulf those pesky tanks in flames. But what's this? You were so carried away by all the awesome destruction that you lost your altitude and are now approaching the ground at breakneck speed. Control surfaces are unresponsive and it's just a matter of time before you finally crash. Isn't it better to stop yourself in time, make a turn and come for a second helping? And then, when you've run out of ammo, just go and get some more back home. This way, the fun never ends. That's it for today. Have anything to add? Any other mistakes that led to your demise? Do tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and good luck.